I'm going to sing you a song. And this song was given to me by my adopted father. He came to our territory uh, many, many years ago, and uh, him and my dad took each other for brother in a sweat lodge. And we knew him for many, a uh, few decades. One day he stopped by our house on his way. My dad had already gone. He died, and uh, he came by and he says, Well, sons, I'm, I'm here and I'm not well. I'm on my way from the north. I'm heading south to my home. And, uh, uh, but I wanted to stop by here. I heard you, you were having a sweat. I'm coming in for one round and for a purpose. And that purpose was, I want to give you a song that the spirit world gave to me not, or not a month ago. The spirit world in my dream gave me this song. And I want to give you this song. So I said, uh, uh, he said, this song I give you, you're not, I didn't, get, I didn't pay for it, that song. It was just given to me. So my sons, I'm going to give you this song. You're going to sing that song. And uh, you're going to have that song. And wherever you go, <coughs> you can share that song. You don't have to pay me for the song, he says, because I got it for free. Wherever you go, you sing this song and uh, give, it, give it to people for free. If they can learn that song and take that song and even change the wording to your own First Nation language. To this song they can have that song without paying for it it's yours this song made an impact on my life that my adopted daddy gave gave us and I'm going to sing you that song now you don't have to rise just bow your heads when you hear this song One is no one is to this song. Wake up, my grandson. Wake up, my granddaughter. Your children are hurting. Wake up. Your children don't even know how to pray. Wake up. Your grandchildren are not learning good things. Wake up! Your people are not even getting along. They don't even visit each other. Wake up! The old people are not looking after each other. They're not visiting. They're not acknowledging each other. Wake up! 
Wake up, my grandson. Wake up, my granddaughter. We're not sharing anything with each other. We're stingy. Wake up. How can we be blessed? We're not sharing. How can, how can we be healthy? We're not even kin. We're not even being relative to each other. We're not even visiting our sisters and our brothers. Wake up! You're not even telling your mom, I love you. You're not even telling your dad, I love you. Wake up! You're not teaching. You're not practicing your spirituality that the Creator Lord God had given you. The humility that you are supposed to have. You're not practicing it. Wake up. That song that my stepdad gave us uh, did a lot of thing, good things for me. And I want you to take that song and have it and use it as your one of your little bookmarks in your home. Wake up. Let's wake up. Look at what this pandemic is doing to us. Some of us are paranoid. We are. We don't know which way to pray. <laughs> We don't know what to do. And I know, wake up. Get that little smudge bowl out. Put some uh, cedar in there and start praying. I was praying with my pipe this morning and my, I couldn't help but my tears came down. I cried this morning. Four things I will give you. This, my spirit world in my little humble place told me I'll give you four things. I'll give you these four things again as a gift. I'll give them to you as a gift. And wherever you go, give those four gifts away to whomever you talk to. Give them away, those four gifts. First gift, pray. That's the first gift, pray. Pray with sincerity. Not a long prayer, a short prayer, make it to the point. Second gift, when you pray, cry, mean it. Mean your prayer. Don't just rattle off a prayer and then that's it. Mean your prayer. That means have tears. If you want it bad enough for your kid, your grandchild, your wife, your friend, if you want it bad enough, you'll cry. And the spirit world will, the whole universe, the spirit world will stop when you cry and listen to you. Third gift. Never go around trying to buy luck. Don't go around buying, buying a, something that will hurt somebody else. Don't go and buy a, a success. Don't do that. You don't know what you're buying, and you don't know from whom you buy. You don't know. You can hurt your home. You can hurt yourself. You can hurt your family by buying. That was a third gift. 
The fourth gift. Now that you're a praying person, a crying person, watchful of your life, life and lifestyle, watchful, you're going to be successful. You're going to be okay. Your home is going to be all right. You're not going to have fear. You're not going to have... You're not going to be scared because you're doing these first two, three things and doing them well. The last thing is, now that you're okay, be humble because you're okay. You're going to be all right. Don't go boasting around because you're okay. Share your wealth. Share your food. Share what little bit you got with those that really need it bad. And you'll be okay. <laughs> those are the four gifts. And I give them to you here today in this sacred lodge. Four gifts. I was told to share them and give them, give them away. So with that, the, this, this sickness that is here, don't fill your home with fear. Fill your home with uh, honesty and truth. Fill your home with courage. Fill your home with the spirit that protects you. Call on your spirit. Don't go running around scared, going to the sweat lodge uh, 500 miles away or to that other lodge 3,000 miles away. Don't do that. Stay home and uh, look after your home, little home. Stay home. <laughs>